If you believe, I believe you, I believe you. And the penguin said, whenever I think of you, I'll just go... And then he went like this. You can't drive. You don't even have a license. Drove here, didn't I? If you get caught, you'll be in so much trouble. What are they going to do? Take away his library card? Summer returns to the subarctic. The young of the year were born when the first green plants began to emerge. Predators tend to be wide-ranging in their search for food. In a land where prey is rarely abundant, by autumn, the pups will be ready to venture out from the den and face the coming winter on their own. The business of life continues into the ebbing summer night, while food and warmth are still plentiful. The compelling drive behind the caribou's yearly migration, however, involves more than the search for food. Since early spring, the doll sheep rams have been in bachelor groups, wandering over the high ridge tops of their summer range. It is here that the young rams develop their skills of combat and in the presence of older rams learn their place in a dominance hierarchy based on the size of their elegant horns. Before the breeding season or rut, the bulls develop a hierarchy with others in the area through light sparring matches. These matches rarely get violent for if either bull was to make the first strike, his opponent could still cause him severe damage and both would be losers in the game of breeding and survival. For the moose, fighting has evolved to be the final and most serious means for settling questions of dominance. It is early October. The Denali caribou herd pauses briefly from its incessant movement as the season for breeding unfolds. Food now lies beneath a deep blanket of snow, but the caribou's hooves are designed to easily reach it. The conflict for dominance is not a struggle for survival of the individual, but rather a foothold on the future. That this foothold exists is the symbol of true wilderness. That this wilderness is preserved is the hallmark of civilization. truth? The only hope is research. And right now there are life-saving research projects being held up. Do you know why? Money. There simply isn't enough money. People always dig down and give after a tragedy. Don't wait. Please, give now.